Hi, I'm Pete Licata and I'm here to talk to you about coffee in about three minutes. Today we're going to talk about dosing and dose placement in particular, which is where the coffee falls when it's entering the espresso basket. And I find this to be one of the most overlooked uh, aspects of making espresso that I see, period. The use of laser cut precision portafilter baskets, uh, lighter, less developed roasts, high grown, high density, single origin coffees to make espresso, uh, we've trended toward finer grinds in order to achieve balance in that modern espresso profile. And at the same time, this type of espresso has a lower physical volume in the basket, which leaves more room for water and turbulence to have an impact on the puck. When looking at dose placement, it helps to keep the nature of finely ground coffee in mind, and remember that we want to create an even extraction bed of the grinds. Now, the finer the coffee is ground, the more it tends to clump up as well, and this may be caused of by static or moisture, but it happens and we need to understand that. Now, let's remember that espresso ground coffee behaves similarly to flour, and if you stack it up in a single spot, it will compress the layers at the base of the pile of flour. The same phenomenon happens with espresso when you fill your basket, whether it's directly from the grinder or from a dosing cup, and it can be magnified by the clumping of grinds. So put all these things together and we end up with a tendency to get high density spots in parts of the puck and low density spots in others. And you can test the density of your puck by just dosing, distributing it around, and poking your finger around the puck before tamping. Um, don't serve that coffee, please, but you can definitely see where the density changes. Uh, the effects of the density hotspots can be slightly mitigated through proper distribution, whether it be manual or with a tool, um, but if you created a high density spot at the base of your dose, you will almost always end up with an uneven extraction. So in order to get your dose placement correct, you can either try to, to dose directly in the center of the basket and distribute out from there, or use methods which actively, and actively even out the entirety of the dose, uh, such as tapping the exterior of the portafilter. But you want to avoid a big clump of grinds hitting the side of the basket as you dose, and you, want to, you don't want to compress a high density spot at the base of the grinds that doesn't cover the whole basket. Another test that you can do is to uh, actually dose, distribute, and tamp, uh, and then instead of extracting, pop the, port, the puck out of the portafilter and cut it into quarters as evenly as you possibly can. Weigh each quarter and see if there's a major difference in the weight. Uh, this can help you understand where the dose is suffering and how you can compensate. Uh, newer grinders also, uh, like the Mythos grinder with the clump crusher and the Malconig E65 and E80 series, uh, which make fluffy granular coffee grinds, uh, actually help significantly to make placement of the dose a lot easier. Uh, though they're not ideal for a single, single dose grinding like the K43 is, so you have to kind of take the trade off. Uh, so in summary, think about with the dose density where it's hitting the basket, high, low density, hot spots, and remember that distribution is not going to compensate for a flawed dose placement. Get those extractions even and your coffee will be so much better. This has been three minutes or so of coffee with me. I'm Pete Licata. Thanks for joining me.